County deputies say drones are changing the way they handle search and rescue operations. Today, technology has led to a brand new way for farmers to spray their crops with drones. Many startups believe the answer is autonomous flying cargo drones. And look at this incredible video from inside the hurricane. These are images from an ocean sail drone. There is a lot of excitement recently in the aviation industry, specifically the uncrewed aerial vehicles or UAV. We sat down with industry leaders worldwide who shared their unique journeys. The commercial drone industry is delivering significant life-saving, societal, and economic benefits for all Americans. I think our best way to introduce these technologies is to bring them into the public eye by how we can help the public. UAVs are creating more conversations around law and policy, innovation, education, public safety, and diversity. When I worked in the federal government, I recognized that there are challenges anytime you're introducing new technologies into existing regulatory environments. And in 2012, after Congress mandated that the federal government integrate drones into our national airspace, the federal government really started paying attention and it took kind of a whole of government approach. Um, this is a really fascinating topic. You know, people think of drones as kind of uh, something that you use as a hobby or maybe for film crews. People are going to be stuck in floods and we're going to be sending in the drone and it's got the screen, you'll be able to see communication. So that is really going to help. When we see that we're able to save mom or grandma from, from a terrible situation, we're gonna be able to now gain the public's trust. Instead of going out to a pharmacy to get your medications, one company is using technology to bring it directly to you from the air. I have a client currently that to go four miles, it takes them one hour to move blood. We could do it on a really bad day in less than 15 minutes. We also do uh, drone education shows where we go to the elementary schools and get them excited about the drone industry. I started Autonomy.org, which is focused on underserved youth, young girls, and children, military families. People who think that it's beyond them and they won't be able to do it, which include, often includes women, often includes older people. And there's such a myth. I meet so many people who say, oh, young people are good at technology, you know, I'm old, I can't do it. And I say to them, look at what you've already mastered and stop thinking you can't do it. Look at all this other stuff, you know, drones are just another thing and really they're user friendly now. So I love building confidence in people who otherwise think that it's beyond them because it isn't. You saw people running around with these things going, why do they need a giant cell phone? We got pay phones on every corner. What's happened today? Everybody's got a small phone in their pocket. And that's what's happening with the drone industry. We're just at the beginning where you got that giant brick. We don't even know the advancements that are coming. To see the, the positive aspects of how that can be used and how we can use technology to solve our world's most technically challenging problems. We educate on how the advancement of UAS and AAM technology benefits all Americans including those in underserved or difficult to reach communities and democratizes aviation, opening new mobility opportunities for all. It is no shock that UAVs will continue to shape our future. These modern day hidden figures continue to blaze a trail for others to follow.